Hey, we are in District 16 today and this is the Tanamera neighbourhood. In a quaint little area, we call it the Pigview Landed Estate. Uh, you can see that uh, we are on the highest ground of this neighbourhood because Pigview Avenue slopes down, Pari Unak slopes down and through this way, Anapatong, you will reach the main road and of course, uh, Tanamera MRT Station is there. Uh, lots of eateries in Simpang Badok, uh, East Village. And today we have a brand new inter terrace which the audience wants to see, you know, what happens inside when it's newly completed. Uh, so why not? Let's go! And what you are seeing here is a 2,200 square feet of uh, terrace land. It's considered the larger kind of terraces that we have because the normal sizes are between 1,006 to maybe around 1,008, 1,900 square feet. So the specs of this land is that I have a 7 meter wide frontage uh, and a 28 meter depth to the end of the land. And of course, not forgetting this 3.7 meters uh, car porch. And uh, you can easily park two cars side by side. And you can see that we have skipped the gardens, the greeneries, because I feel that it's easier to maintain to wash the porch. So let's go in. As you enter the house, uh, you can see that we have used large format house. The white one, the marble look-alike one, and together with the shadow skirting, this little black line that runs across the whole house, it gives you the visualization of straight lines, neat lines, instead of doing the uh, tile skirting, which is the more traditional type. So over here, you will have your L-shaped sofa, your standard sofa, your TV wall, your TV feature. The main highlight of this house is this skylight that brings in all the natural light to your dining area. And this is where your 10 to 12 seater is. And what I want to show you is that even when I switch off the light, there is still ample illumination in this area for your breakfast, for your dinner and there's just lots of possibilities on this close to 12 meter high double volume or I call it triple volume garden wall, feature wall, anything you want it to be. And in modern terraces, you will get two kitchens, your dry kitchen, your wet kitchen. Over your dry kitchen, you can build your coffee machines, uh, bath fridge, wine fridge, wine chiller, you can serve uh, light finger foods to your guests, your buffet line can be around here. And the wet kitchen on this side, which I call it the walk hay kitchen because all the messy stuff goes in, you can close this door. The wet kitchen is already fully equipped, you can build another fridge. And the back area of the house brings in lots of lights. The entire house has, has different lights in all angles. What I feel is important for the level one of a modern terrace is that I get two other uh, maids bathroom and maids room at the back. You have a bomb shelter right here and the powder room for your guests. Also the last one is the storeroom under the stairway and not forgetting the lift that we have here. So this lift runs all the way to level four and let's go up level two and have a look. Have I mentioned that this house has a total of six rooms and we are on level two where you get three bedrooms. This will be the family area where it opens up to the roof terrace that sits above the car porch. And this is where your barbecue pits, your outdoor furniture can go. And right here, if I build a door, it can also become a junior master. This is the gallery or rather the balcony, the terrace that you saw from level one. I have one on level two one more on level 3 and this entire void space brings in all the light and here we have two back rooms and let's go to level 3 and here we are at level 3 the usual dark parts are the staircases but you can see that there's so much skylight coming in uh, through the roof and on level 3 I have two bedrooms both are ensuite you can see that the views are getting better and better as we clear the roofs of the neighbours. You can see blocks far away. Uh, the other side, on the back of the house, is the supposed junior master, 
with an ensuite because this room is the largest common room we have. You can place a king size bed here, dresser table and even a walk-in wardrobe. And the views here are getting much more fantastic where in the evenings you can see the planes landing towards uh, Changi Airport. And I'm going to show you the holy grail of the house which is level 4 and that's where the master room is. And coming to level 4, this entire space is like yours. Uh, you're away from your family members. You can almost reach for the sky. And this is what I call a single loading master bedroom where you get your ultimate privacy. No one is going to disturb you. This is where your bed is supposed to be. It opens to a outdoor balcony. This is where views get much better because our neighbours are all up to a level 2, level 3 storey. You also get a private office space, study area on this side. And the most important part is actually this. We have so much space in the house that I can build a ginormous bathroom with a free standing bathtub. And we're giving it furnished with bravet, WCs, sinks, sinks for the missus and the mister. You don't have to fight. Brohe toilet fittings with rain shower, uh, lots of grey tones, white tones, earthly tones and not forgetting your walk-in wardrobe which also opens up to uh, another roof terrace. I think the missus will love this a lot. Right, and we are back at level one. Uh, the million dollar listing team has just shown you a uh, freehold land of 6,500 square feet built-in, over six bedrooms. You should come and feel the space and the light yourself. I'll see you in the next episode. Do remember to click like and share this video to all of your friends. I'll see you soon.